let's talk about AI, shall we? So mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> do you think that Google's Gemini will be able to compete for the throne when it comes to AI dominance? Everybody's talking about chat GPT um, forever for the last you know year. It's like that's been a nonstop you know, conversation is, is chat GPT. Mm-hmm. And there's, you know, Bart was into the conversation and there mm-hmm. was a variety of other companies that, you know, have come into this conversation. But Google's Gemini. Um, is that going to be something that's going to, you know, take over? Because they're all kind of similar, right? They're all like personal assistant type of chat, GBT, chat box type yeah. things, right? Similar. So what, what makes one better than the other? And yeah, why would Google reign supreme? Um, I don't know if it would take over the throne, but this is the first one that is like multimodal truly. So in the demo, the guy's like drawing a figure and the AI is telling him in real time what he's drawing. <laughs> so to be able to take video see what you're writing, give you feedback. I'm like, oh, this is close to Jarvis from Iron Man. Um, of course, I'm really big on investing in the leader in the space. But when I saw this, I'm like, this is the first product that Google got right in a long time on its first iteration. Um, like you said, Rashad, Bard is similar. There's a whole bunch of AI chatbots that are available right now that are basically like knockoffs of, of open AI's chat GPT. This was the first one that was like a step up. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when Steph came into the game and he had handles and he can shoot from anywhere. This felt like that kind of evolutionary jump in AI. I don't know if it would take the throne. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but the demo um, was pretty amazing. And one thing about Google, whatever they do put in the demo, it usually does come to life in the actual product. So I'm excited to see what is there in the future. I don't know if it takes over the throne. It's it's probably the the best competitor uh, for a number of reasons. I think you spoke about it, that being multimodal, uh, module, I'm sorry, meaning that it can be, have the ability to compute images, videos, and audio inside of the platform. Mm-hmm. Even when you, you look at a, a chat GBT, yes, it's, it's predominantly language-based and you can use language and you can, I mean, you can use image and you can use video, but it has to go through a plugin. And uh, shout out to Keys, I, I was showing them some of the images that were created in ChatGPT because it was aware of who he was, but yeah. you have to use Dolly 3 in order to yeah. do it. And that takes time for it to upload maybe, I, not like 10 seconds, it takes about two minutes, which is still fast. And then yeah. you have to use Whisper if you're using audio. Whereas Google has the advantage of having that all in-house. There's no plugin. It's inside of it's the seamless. platform itself. It's seamless. What it also is inside of is the Google brand. Right. So mm-hmm. you can seamlessly see being integrated into YouTube, into Google Chrome, into Google Drive, Gmail, Gmail all of that. Whereas in ChatGPT, you still, it's a website, it's an app, it's not seamlessly integrated into one thing. Yeah. Then you talk about the data and the amount of users. And I was having this conversation. I'm, where were we? Were we on a plane? When I was like, yo, look at how many users that the brand Alphabet has when we look at all of their path, platform. <laughs> right. We talk about Android all the time, but yeah. We have Billions of people on Android, you have billions of people using YouTube, and you have billions of, of people on Chrome. When you take all those data points, can a company like Microsoft, when it comes to Bing, as far as a search engine, compete with it in terms of data? No, no way, right? And no. ChatGPT, obviously, OpenAI has partnered with Microsoft, and I noticed some the, the EU is looking into the, the monopoly that's been created, but. They have the data points and their data is only going to get larger because of the reliance that we have on it as a search engine, but also from the standpoint of a channel, right? It's probably the most popular channel in the world, right? We don't consider it as that, but I mean, when you think about where people are watching things, especially a younger population, it's YouTube. And so they have all these data, they have all these data points and all these points of integration without the use of a plugin. I like them as the best competitor. And they have what 35% of all the world using their product in some form. Like you can't compete against those numbers. And that's why I keep saying the biggest companies on earth are going to continue to get bigger. Somebody this weekend was like, Hey, I'm interested in this company. What's the best way to invest in it? I'm like, buy Microsoft or Google. Cause at some point they're going to buy or have a partnership with them. So, um, the rich are going to get richer. The biggest companies are going to get bigger, but I am excited about this iteration that Google has for um the ai product and i like the name better gemini is a little bit smoother than chat gpt the, the, the winkle boss twins are uh coming into the chat they're saying what hey what gemini 
Well we timed. <laughs> well timed. Yeah, now, now the rollout, the rollout, the video they said that was a that wasn't the actual product. That was a bit messy, but we forgive Google for that. We can forgive them. Like Sometimes Mitchell. you gotta swerve into somebody else's lane and take a little bit of you know cachet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They mixed yeah. it up that GTA rollout. They probably felt pressure. You know, that's all right. I had to throw some out real quick. <laughs> Flush it out. <laughs>